Why is it so hard to quit eating sugar? If you really want an answer to this question, then you need to watch this video. Eating sugar may give you one of the best feelings in the world, but this video might make you reconsider those sweet cravings. This video will make you stop sugar forever. In this video, you will get the answers to 11 great questions on what you need to know about the effects of sugar on your health and how to help you stop the addiction to sugar. Number one, is sugar addiction different from other addictions? No, sugar addiction is not so different from other types of addiction that people experience, such as alcohol and drug addiction. Through constant research and study over the years, it has been discovered that a lot of people are suffering from obesity and overeating, and despite all the warnings we see around us from our day-to-day -day lives, these people can't just stop. Well, the reason isn't far-fetched. Sugar. Consuming too much sugar or developing an addiction to sugar can lead to changes in behavior and mood that are similar to those seen in patients with alcohol or drug addiction. Unfortunately, the foods we eat do not help as many of these foods are loaded with sugar. Number 2. Why is so much sugar allowed in our daily diet? This may not be for everyone as you may not really like sugar. However, many people love their sugar a little too much and tend to overindulge, even in their daily diet. Sugar has been around for a long time and because of this more of it is being incorporated into our daily diet causing us to become addicted to it. From new recipes for desserts to other types of food that we know, you'll agree that the newer the recipes, the more added sugar we find in some of them. For example, the amount of sugar you will find in bread in the 1960s may not be the same as what you see in today's bread recipe. This is detrimental to human health. Number three, what excess sugar does and how it works in the body. Sugar is an essential source of fuel and energy for our bodies. It helps our brain function properly, but excessive consumption is not necessary. However, people who do not eat sugar are not in danger as our bodies have a way of giving their own sugar to help our brains function well. You may not be aware that excess sugar consumption causes a significant rise in the release of a neurochemical in the brain called dopamine. Dopamine causes our body to observe the pleasures that an alcohol or drug addict will experience due to how much it influences us. This can go on for a long time to lead people into sugar addiction. Also, it becomes difficult for people to stop eating sugar because of the behavioral changes that occur to them during the period that they first stop eating sugar. Number four, is there a better or worse type of sugar? The simple answer to this is yes. When trying to quit eating sugar, there are some sugars that you may not do away from as they will not harm you. This sugar is found in fruits and is called fructose. Fruits are rich in antioxidants and other micronutrients essential for the body. So when you eat sweet fruits like apples or pineapples, you are not just eating sugar, you are eating a balanced proportion of micronutrients. Also, unless you're making homemade fruit juice with no extra sugar or preservatives, fruit juice is not the best option when cutting down sugar because it often has added flavors, food coloring, or other additives. So, if you want to eat any sugar, let it be fructose. Number 5. What are the dangers of sugar to small children? The long-term effects of sugar on most young adults are a result of the amount of sugar that they've been exposed to as kids. Parents are often tempted to give their children lots of sugary treats from time to time. As these kids grow up, it becomes challenging for them to eat sugar in moderation. Therefore, the dangers of sugar to kids include the development of a sweet tooth over time and the addictive relationship their brains form with sugar. Number 6. Are there synthetic sugar that can help to correct sugar addiction? The answer is no. Synthetic sugars should only be an option if the rate at which you eat sugar is too much and you need something to kick down your cravings for a while. We understand that it is always very difficult at first when you try to cut down on your sugar intake, so these weird and strong cravings may arise. 
But you should not rely on these alternative sweeteners as they also release dopamine like sugar and you may get addicted. Number seven, how do you stop taking too much sugar? It all starts with your determination to stop. People will find it easier to reduce their sugar intake when they recognize that they consume sugar not solely for its taste, but as a temporary means to relieve stress, depression, or anger. With this realization, we can better filter what we eat. It's important to recognize that this process is gradual. You may not be able to eliminate every sugary item from your diet immediately, but by gradually removing these foods one by one, you can successfully reduce your sugar intake. Begin your sugar reduction journey by cutting out sugar from your beverages, starting with the decision to stop drinking soda. Number eight, what are the long-term detriments of sugar on our health? Several studies have shown that the consumption of sweetened beverages causes an increased risk of developing heart disease and other health issues. This is because, over time, sweetened beverages can contribute to insulin resistance, high blood pressure, and inflammation, all of which are factors that can lead to heart disease. Other long-term detriments of too much sugar have also been associated with a greater risk of premature death and mortality. Number 9. What changes do we see after sugar leaves our system? Our body naturally regains feeling great when sugar leaves our system. Although, as earlier mentioned, you may struggle at the beginning of your sugar withdrawal phase. For example, it may be difficult to just take a cold shower, eat, and go to bed after a stressful day. Your body will want you to have a cold bottle of soda, but you shouldn't give in. Once you get past all of these, you will feel more energetic throughout your day. Another visible change is weight loss. Sugar leaving our system makes it easy for the body to naturally lose weight and for people to regain their self-confidence. So if you're looking into losing weight, you should cut your sugar intake. Number 10. How can we cut out sugar when we eat out? The best way to watch your diet when you eat out is to avoid sauces as condiments like ketchup, for example, can contain about 80% sugar. That's a significant amount of sugar to consume. Also, it's wise to skip desserts when eating out given their tendency to have high percentages of sugar. Before you go to any restaurant, it is best to plan what you want to eat as it saves you the stress of picking anything from a menu list. Also, instead of desserts like cookies or cakes, you can opt for fruits. The basic rule to guide you on this is to avoid any dish with too many ingredients. Number 11. Are bread and pasta the same as eating sugar? Eating bread and pasta is not totally the same as eating sugar. Although bread, pasta, and sugar are all types of carbohydrates, they are processed differently by the body and eating them has different effects on the body. Bread and pasta get broken down into sugar when they are consumed, but this sugar is not the same as eating direct sugar. Excess carbohydrates from foods like bread and pasta lead to more sugar in the body, and when this sugar is not totally used up by the body, it is stored up as fat. Fruits provide a healthy source of sugar, offering a preferable alternative to desserts and candy bars. Remember the basic rule to guide your diet plan wherever you find yourself. Avoid any dish with too many ingredients. So there you have it, 11 facts that will make you stop sugar forever.